The second kind of vortexes is the irrotational vortex. So you see the vortex, which is a fluid particle moving along a circular path, can be irrotational. So the irrotationality and uh, creation of our appearance of the vortex in a fluid are two different concepts. Okay, or the other name is free vortex because in this kind of vortex there is there isn't any external force. And uh, consider a container uh, filled with water, stationary water, and there is a hole uh, on the bottom of that container which is closed. Now open that hole, you will see that uh, there is uh, a free vortex appears, uh, in that case, a free vortex appears in the container because there isn't any external force, it's called the free vortex, and you, the free surface is something similar to a horn, Gabriel's horn. Uh, something different from this case, you see the free surface is a concave parabola, but here uh, the free surface dips sharply near the center of uh, rotation or the axis of rotation. And again, put that visualizer on the surface of this rotating vortex, and you see that you will see that the uh, direction of this visualizer is vertical or in the same direction, uh, when it rotates, it rotates something like this. It means that there is no rotation in the particle of fluid touched near the, uh, this visualizer. So this uh, flow field is uh, irrotational, but this one, uh, which the flow rotates, the particle of fluid rotates, is rotational. Okay, uh, something similar to best tube drain, you can examine this in your kitchen, but try to save the, the water because each drop of water is important. Uh, okay, uh, this is the bath tube drain or um, uh, any container which, uh, which, is a, which has a hole on the bottom. Okay, in this case, the velocity is proportional to the inverse of distance from the center line. Here, the velocity increases by increasing the uh, distance from center center line, but in this case, the velocity decreases by increasing the distance from, from the axis of rotation. Uh, here we have uh, angular velocity. Uh, it can be computed to be 0, 0 again in the z direction only. And uh, alpha is a constant and uh, over to the second uh, power of uh, the distance from the center line. This is the position vector similar to the previous case and uh, perform the cross product to compute the velocity field. This is the velocity field of a free vortex. And uh, in order to compute the uh, vorticity vector, in order to investigate the rotationality or rotationality of the flow field, you have to compute the cross product of the del operator and this uh, compute the velocity vector and, and uh, it's obtained that the vorticity vector is zero. So the flow is irrotational, but there is an important point here. There is a singularity in this flow field, and the singularity is the uh, axis of uh, rotation or the center line. You see, the uh, velocity or the angular velocity both are related to the inverse of r. So, if r is uh, equals to zero, there appears a singularity in the, uh, in the flow field. So, uh, the, uh, the vorticity vector is a zero anywhere in the flow field except the center line. And again, the circulation, which is the integration of the flux of vorticity, is a zero ex along any closed curve excluding the center line. If the closed curve, uh, the closed curve contains the, um, the center line, the circulation is not zero. Okay, in order to compute the pressure, in uh, the previous case, uh, I expressed that the pressure is proportional to the second power of uh, the distance from the center line, but here uh, you can integrate this relation, this is the conservation of momentum uh, in, in radial direction, this is the variation of pressure in radial direction, and this is the centripetal acceleration, so you can compute the pressure distribution and using the velocity vector obtained in the previous section, and this the p infinity is the pressure uh, in a point far from the center line. Uh, this is the pressure distribution. 
again is uh, proportional to the inverse of the second power of the distance. Uh, if you compute, if you want to compute the shape of the uh, free surface, you have to use this relation, and the, the, uh, the, there is a second power of r at the denominator of this relation. So uh, we have a horn-like, horn-like free surface uh, which uh, dips sharply near the center line. Okay, the, the, there is another well-known vortex in uh, potential flow theory, and again, elementary fluid mechanics, which is called the point vortex or the potential vortex. The potential vortex uh, is exactly a kind of irrotational vortex. You know, the potential flow is a uh, curl-free flow or uh, irrotational flow. So uh, the vortex created in the potential flow, which is called the potential vortex, is a kind of irrotational vortices. And I don't want to com compute this relation here. Uh, you see again, u is proportional to the inverse of distance. Uh, you, you, uh, this is the u in the direction of the theta. And this is the circulation, which is not zero because this is the, this circulation is computed along the curve which contains the center line. And over 2 pi and r, this, uh, the distance from the center line, the radial distance, uh, it concludes that the product of r and u theta are uh, constant. Uh, u, the product of r and u theta is, uh, is proportional to the angular momentum per unit mass relative to the center line of rotation, which is constant. This constant is the circulation over 2p, 2 pi. Uh, but there is a, it should be noted that this uh, potential irrotational vortex is, uh, cannot be seen in real applications because there is a singularity in mathematical relations and uh, realistic applications have no idea about singularities. Existing a singularity in a f mathematical model doesn't make sense. So, uh, in real applications, such as fast tube drain, which you can see a flow pattern similar to what I have sketched on the board. The, there is a core region near the center line here. There is a core region. In this region, the flow is not uh, irrotational anymore. And the vorticity vector is non-zero. In the core region, the vorticity vector is non-zero. In this region, you see if you uh, move in the inward direction, uh, the velocity, uh, the magnitude of the velocity increases. Based on the potential theory, the maximum velocity uh, appears at the center line, uh, which is infinity. But uh, here, near in the core region, uh, when you move along the radial inward direction, the velocity increase stops, uh, or the velocity stops increasing and goes to zero at the center of the uh, the vortex. This is the real version of the potential vortex or the irrotational vortex, which is not irrotational, not only at the center line, but also in the region surrounding the center line, which is called the core region.